All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakapadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the whole elect out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful like the believers, the listeners that have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about Shim Al Shah, man? You know, it's a lot going on. You know, it's a lot going on. You know, I was kind of excited, you know, a lot of things going on, you know, in America, you know, over there in the Middle East, you know, and it's all according to prophecy. Now we know <clears throat> sometimes, you know, prophecy get hot. You know, then it kind of fall back, you know, but at the end, but at the end of the day, all right, we are watchmen, you know, for the nation of Israel, you know, so when these things get intense, all right, it's on, it's, it's our obligation, all right, to the elect, you know, to uh, expound on these things in the spirit, man, you know, so that's what we're going to go, go into. We got some videos, you know, we're going to deal with, you know, a little bit of the gas shortages, you know, as it's heavily affecting the Southeast, you know, um, from Texas all the way to New Jersey. All right, you have four days of a uh, rocket fire between those uh, Israelis, all right, and those Palestinians. You know, Palestinians are really, you know, being more on the offensive, you know, against those Israelis, you know, which is gonna cause major conflict, man, you know, and it's all biblical prophecy coming to pass, all right, in a major way, you know? This is this is this is what we bank on. All right. All our chips is in the middle of the table. All right. And it's on prophecy, man. You know, that we win. All right. That Yahweh Shai comes back, you know, and conquers the earth in righteousness, man. Because that's what these things lead up to. Now, when you get, get Ezekiel 3 and 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me yeah so we're constantly you know on our watch all right concerning what man what's happening in real time you know just like the brother said the brother gms uh tazakaya all right um yahweh the man you know these things that we see happening was all appointed from the beginning of the earth you know everything that we see happening had a has an, an an appointed time to happen from the beginning of earth man so you go to habakkuk two and three it says um for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry you know so the 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 the, 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 the mark of the beast it has an appointed date and time you know to happen it's going to happen world war three has a appointed date and time all right to happen is going to happen the economy collapsed all these things have appointed times and we're watching the build up you know we're watching the build up to these things so let's start off you know let's get into this war talk man you know my favorite subject you know let's get into this war talk so now this is from um uh, hold on let me let me share this to like stop sharing it you know it's getting heated over the hey brothers we <laughs> we here man you know there's no way we can go backwards now man we might as well put our head down and go all in you know um let me share this youtube um, Hmm. Yeah, man. All right, make sure you're sharing. All right. Um, so let's. Got a few videos lined up. All right, I'm gonna start with. All right. Now this one is. 
from about two days ago. So we're just going to walk it down what's been happening in that region, you know. Welcome back, everyone. It's Dina Kaumetta here. And for today's news, I do have a few headlines I'd like to share with you. And I actually would like to start with Israel because tensions are escalating there very quickly. In fact, the IDF warned Hamas that all options, including a ground operation, were on the table after over 150 rockets were fired towards Jerusalem and southern Israel as thousands of Israelis were parading through downtown to celebrate the day. Now, now does that sound like, you know, they're the chosen people <laughs> that's in their land? All right. Because when you go to the scriptures, they, they shooting rockets at Jerusalem, man. Does that sound, you know, like that's a fulfillment of prophecy? All right. Now, when you go to the beginning of this chapter in Jeremiah 30, what does it say? Deliverance, all right, from captivity, you know, promise. When you go into the blue letter, all right, so I get it. Matter of fact, a brother put it up there for me so I can keep it on the screen. But a brother put, um, a brother put Jeremiah 30 and 10 up there. You know, that why I just put it on the screen. And we go from there. Yep. Jeremiah 30 and 10. You see, one thing about it, you know, you, you can say anything outside of prophecy, man. You know, but see, the prophecy, all right, exposes everything. You know, that's why the Esau Edom, his number one religion is Christianity because it doesn't deal with prophecy, man. You see? But when you go according to prophecy, Prophecy exposes everything, man, and it's straight to the point. You know, you go, especially in the Old Testament, it gets straight to the point. You know, it puts names, you know, on particular prophecy, on, on, on particular nations, all right? You know, and that's why Esau, Edom confused the nationalities, you know, and came up with all these modern terms for nations going by color, you know, and all these modern terms, all right? But when you go into prophecy, you know, you can't get around it. Yep, the water broke. This is Virginia. This is um, Virginia Island Straight Gate. It says, um, therefore, fear not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. It says, for I will, uh, for lo, I will save thee from afar. And that's when your shot comes and deliver his people. Okay. And those chariots. And Jacob shall return back to the land and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. You know, is that going on real time? Absolutely not, man. And we're finna watch it, man. You know, none shall make him afraid, man. So let's go back into it. All right. Following the rocket fire, the Israel Air Force carried out several strikes in Gaza killing at least eight Hamas militants and targeting rocket launchers in two military positions. Palestinian media reported that 20 people had been killed, including nine children and another 95 wounded. Now, three other children were killed as well, but it was unclear if it was due to an Israeli Air Force strike or the failure of a rocket launched from Gaza. Hamas has also threatened Israel earlier in the day that it would launch the rockets due to ongoing clashes in Jerusalem. And shortly after 6 p.m., seven rockets were fired towards the capital. The IDF said that one was intercepted by the Iron Dome missile defense system. Another struck an empty house in a community near Jerusalem. So out of seven rockets they fired, all right, only one was intercepted. <laughs> so that's not and them them not good. That's not a good percentage. You know, and we're gonna go into why. All right. But dozens of rockets were also fired in other communities. And an anti-tank guided missile also struck a civilian vehicle, causing light injuries to the driver who was just several meters from his vehicle. Now Hamas has given Israel another ultimatum to remove forces from the Temple Mount. This is the second such ultimatum <laughs> issued by the... So now you got Palestinians making demands to Israel, man. 
you know, and we're going to go into that too. See, it, it's changing over there. See, for the longest, th this Israeli-American regime has been a big bully over there, man. All right? But guess what? Y'all brothers already know Joel. Brother put that up there. You know, now these <laughs> these nations making requests like, look, this what y'all going to do. You know, put uh, what that Joel 3 and 10, you know. Yeah, they iron dawn trash. They iron dawn like my new boat, you know. They, they going to terrorize that iron dawn. The iron dawn going to be like styrofoam, you know, in a minute. All right? Especially when Iran and Russia step in. Because if they can't handle them Palestinian missiles, it's going to be a long day, you know. It's going to be a long day in Israel. Um, Yeah, brother, put that Joel 3, <laughs> you know. Hey, the tide, the tide changing, man. You know, there you go, the water, bro. This is on the brother, um, good soldier one four four. Um, this is Joel three and ten. It said, "Beat your plowshares into swords." Yeah, and that's what has happened, man. All right, because these rockets ain't free. You know, you shooting one hundred fifty rockets in one day. That's not free. You know, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of money. So these people are investing. All right, these militaries are investing. You know, these countries are invested into their military, man. It says that you're pruning hooks into spears and let the weak say I'm strong. You know, the Palestinians are making demands to those Israelis. Like, look, you know, y'all going to move them troops away from the border. All right, we're going to keep it coming. And as we going to get into these other videos, they keeping it coming, man. You know? So, um, yeah, let's get back into the video. Palestinian group today. Now bomb shelters have been opened. There is continuing escalation on the streets. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned on Monday evening, shortly after the Palestinian launched dozens of rockets from Gaza into Israel, that Israel will respond with great force and that the current confrontation would continue for some time. He also said that Israel will not tolerate attacks on our territory, our capital, our citizens, or our soldiers. We are in a struggle on several fronts, in Jerusalem, Gaza, and other places in Israel. The terrorist groups in Gaza crossed a red line on the eve of Jerusalem Day, a red line, and attacked us with rockets on the outskirts of Jerusalem. Now the Prime Minister ended with, Israel does not want an escalation, but these tensions have definitely escalated, and some are worrying about a war. So definitely a very serious situation in Israel today and actually for the last couple of days. And as always, I will continue to bring you updates. But speaking of tensions, it is also being reported that U.S. ships have fired warning shots to fend off Iranian speedboats in the Strait of Hamas again. The Pentagon says that 13 IRGC fast boats approached U.S. Navy warships, escorting the USS Georgia submarine in the Persian Gulf. You mm -hmm. Yeah, so, all right, that uh, U.S. submarine, you know, pulled up in the Persian Gulf, all right, and Iran pulled up, like, you know, hey, it, <laughs> hey, man, these nations are, they right here, man, you know, the tension is there, man, you know, everybody's on edge, man, you know, I, hey, America shot off 30 warning shots, man. Iran, I mean, America wouldn't have had to do that, all right, uh, 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 20, 30 years ago, all right? They would have blew them Iranian boats out the water. But see, they know it ain't sweet like that no more, you know? Ain't nothing sweet over there no more. When you, when you start talking about Iran, now you're going to start talking about Amer American casualties, man, especially over there in that region. You see, because strategically, Iran has their place uh, uh, surrounded, man. Them Israelis through. American forces over there in the Middle East through. All right? When they go down, they out of there, man. All right? Iran has their place surrounded, you know? And America know it ain't sweet. You see? Because America... West Coast Guard vessels fired... America would have been, all right, made their move. When has America hesitated? You see? Around 30 warning shots before the Iranian boats withdrew. 
So here we see more escalation in the Strait of Hermas. But let's move on and talk about China and Australia. Tensions have reached their boiling point between China and Australia. In the latest in a series of moves, China's National Development and Reform Commission stated that it would indefinitely suspend all activities under the China-Australia Strategic Economic Dialogue. A forum launched in 2014, the Economic Planning Agency said it made the decision because Australia's Cold War mindset and ideological discrimination had disrupted cooperation. Now the decision follows restrictions on a wide range of Australian imports, from lobsters to wine and timber. But on the other hand, Australia has also canceled deals struck between the state of Victoria and China over Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative, a massive infrastructure program. But it doesn't end there. An Australian defense expert has warned that the nation is on a trajectory towards the biggest war the world has ever seen since 1945 between Australia and China. Now, this came from Hugh White, professor in strategic studies at the Australian National Institute. His yeah. views. So, you know, this is it on that one. We'll get another one. Uh, we'll get a few precepts. Uh, a brother that linked this. I think I thought I posted that. Oh, yeah. That link should be popping up soon. It's going to be on GMS Kingdom Mind and Buy. That link to that channel. Like I said, she do pretty good. You know, there's a couple of them do pretty good till they try to go into the Bible. And it's a disaster. But um, yeah, brother post on um, Matthew 24 <clears throat> and verse. Hey, because you got all these nations, ain't nothing but tension, man. The Palestinians and Israelis, they shooting rockets at each other. Uh American submarines, you know being intercepted by uh, uh you know iran's neighbor you see china and australia and i didn't even know they was into it you know but they talking about uh you know they talking about going nuclear man you know and you and we didn't even know they was into it like that but they talking about going straight nuclear man you know so um uh, yep the water bro this is um Yep, this is the brother GMS. All right, Tazakaya, uh, Yahawada. And the brother also put um, Real quick, so I like it. But yeah, when you read um Matthew 24 and 6, it says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You know, like I like to talk about you know this just gonna be a common trend and a rumor you know goes into a circulating story you know so we're gonna constantly hear these circulating stories all right until it finally go down but eventually it's gonna go down it said for nation shall rise up against nation and that's what we're seeing man you know because there's a lot of nations that got conflict like those six nations we just seen well there's more than that because russia and america got beef you know, uh, India and Pakistan got beef. China and Taiwan, you know, they got beef. You see, all these, this is a lot of nations that got a lot of animosity, man. And it's gonna, it's gonna hit a tipping point, man. And we know who gonna, who gonna jump it off. All right, but let me uh, get the other one. All right, so for nations, 
or I shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, as we're seeing, all right, because these gas prices, you know, that has a lot. You know, yep, like the brother said, China and India, and he said, and it says, uh, there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah, because these gas shortages, all right, it's going to affect a lot of things, man, if it continues in this way, man. You know, if they ride this thing out, it can get very bad, man. You know, the famine can come in, in, in a lot of ways. War, all right, even in war, that has, all right, a lot to do you know, with famines, man, you know, because in war, more people die of famines, all right, than of, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, gunfire, man, you see, you have more people die, you know, in famine, all right, from famine, all right, than actual gunfire, you know, because when you go back to uh, the Civil War, especially with Mississippi, you know, what the, uh, what the Yankees did, all right, they shut off, you know, um, Mississippi food supply, you know, and a lot of Mississippi soldiers, you know, died from starvation. You know, it was more soldiers, all right, died from uh, Mississippi soldiers died in the Civil War, all right, from starvation than from actual, you know, combat, man. You see, so all these prophecies, you know, are in the link with each other, man, as we see these things play out. All right. Um, it must be. I gotta bring this one out. So, lucky, I should have looked it up. But this, oh, here you go. It's Jeremiah, brother put Jeremiah 51 and 46 up there. And I'm gonna get this next video ready. All right, so now those dead. So, let's um, let's go back. Get this other video. So that was a couple of days ago. Now, let's see what this thing is turning into, man. Man, this 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 is great, man. You know, this is leading to salvation, man. You know, where this thing dies down, you know, and they go back to some type of normalcy. But the end of the day, all right, there's an energy that's being put in the earth now. Let's go. All right. Now, this is from the same channel, but this is from the day. All right. So now let's get what's going on today. All right. Welcome back, everyone. It's Dina Kaumata here. And for today's news, I do have some breaking headlines in, in regards to Israel. More than 700 rockets have been fired at Israel since Monday. A bus was struck by a Gaza rocket south of Tel Aviv. A woman was killed and a person was critically more than 700 rockets since Monday. You see? So these these uh, these nations on the offensive, man, all right, like I like I said earlier, the old Palestinians told Israel to get them troops off the border, man. You know, and you know, Israel, them Israelis in their pride, all right, they didn't do it, all right, and and look, they just started unleashing, man. <laughs> you know, seven hundred rockets in four days, and I say them rockets ain't free, you see, and so hey, it's just getting worse. And worse and worse, man, until that chaos, you know, jump off, you know, which let me get there since the brother posted the while and the brother put um a brother post Isaiah nine. All right, a brother post um Isaiah nine and five. Yep. So this is um this from the brother Yashima tribe of Judah. All right, and it says, and least your heart faint. And ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. Yeah, because I hardly ain't faint, man. You know, we amped up, man. You know, this is what we want, man. You know, hey, I would listen to this in the car, listen to these, you know, these developing stories, man. This is what we want, man. All right. 
this is going to lead to everything that we want. You know, brothers, just hold on, man. Yeah, how was shot making moves, man? He's finna come get his elect. You see? Yeah, how was shot is overseeing all this, man? This is what we want, man. You know? Our hearts ain't faint. You see? Christian hear this and that. Oh, I don't want to uh -uh, don't talk about the end. We talking about the end, man. You know, because it's the beginning for us, man. You see? It's Jeremiah 51 and 46. And it says, unleash your heart faint. And ye fear for the rumors that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that, in another year, shall a rumor, all right, come, all right, and says, in violence, all right, it says, in violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Yeah, then that's what it's going to lead to, man. All right, this is what this thing is going to lead to, man. All right, uh, it's going to be. <laughs> All right, this earth, this war is gonna make the earth shake, man. You know, so let's keep reading. Wounded after terrorists in the Gaza Strip fired a barrage of rockets in the direction of Tel Aviv late Tuesday night, setting off sirens throughout the center of the country. The pipeline was set alight Tuesday by a rocket landing nearby, and the fire has been burning since this afternoon, but has grown Tuesday evening. Earlier on Tuesday, two women were killed in Ashalon as barrages of rockets struck the southern city and the IDF continued to target Hamas and terrorist sites throughout the Gaza Strip. Now, out of those 700 rockets that have been fired at Israel from Gaza since Monday, including 150 that fell inside the Strip and another 200 that were intercepted by the Iron Dome, according to the army. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that the intensity and rate of attacks will increase following a visit to the IDF Southern Command headquarter. He said we are in the midst of a campaign. Since yesterday, the IDF has been attacking hundreds of Hamas and Islamic Jihad sites in Gaza. We have neutralized commanders. We have hit many of their quality targets. Hamas will be struck in ways that he did not expect. It goes on further to report that over 100 Israelites have been injured and dozens of buildings were hit by rockets, according to Israeli police. One of the buildings was a school. Now, Israel has been taking out some of the commanders, including the commander of Hamas's anti-tank guided missile unit, who has carried out a number of attacks against Israel. And so you see, all the Israelis, they, they did an airstrike on the school, man. You know? They, and then, you know, rockets hit Tel Aviv, Pink City. That place going to be gone, man. You see? And if these Israelis catching hell with Palestine, with these Palestine missiles, these Palestine rockets, it's going to be a long day for Israel, man. You know? And we're going to get that in prophecy, man. In the past. Now, it goes on further to report that the U.S. is deeply concerned about the ongoing escalation of violence in Israel and Gaza and has called on sides to exercise restraint in order to bring a return to calm. Now, this is coming from Ned Price, the State Department spokesman. He said that Israel has the right to defend itself and to respond to rocket attacks. The Palestinian people also have the right to safety and security, just as those in Israel. He said, we call on all sides to exercise restraint and calm, adding that the U.S. will continue to engage on the matter. Now, the AP is reporting that the barrage of rockets from the Gaza Strip and airstrikes into the territory continued almost nonstop throughout the day in what appeared to be some of the most intense fighting between Israel and Hamas since the 2014 war. The fire was so relentless that the Israel's Iron Dome rocket defense system seemed to be overwhelmed. Columns of smoke rose from many places in Gaza. By late Tuesday, the violence extended. Them good arrests finished, man. They finished, man. If the Iron Dome getting overwhelmed by these Palestinian rockets, they finished, man. What they going to do with that Iran missile city? You know? They done, man. The, hey, how about Shema was shot? They finna remove them people off our land, man. You know? And we going to show them how to build back better. All right. They threw, man. Most of them to clear that place out. Yahweh Shai is finna come clear that place out, man. All right. All you heathens. All right. And you ish people, you out of there, man. Ended, as I reported to Tel Aviv, which came under fire from another barrage of rockets launched from the Gaza Strip. Now, Hamas has said he launched a total of 130 rockets 
its most intense strike so far in response to Israel's destruction of a high-rise building in Gaza earlier in the evening. Now, since sundown on Monday, 28 Palestinians, including 10 children and a woman, were killed in Gaza, mostly by airstrikes, according to health officials. The Israeli military said at least 16 of the dead were militants. Now it goes on finally to report that Egyptian officials said that they were trying to broker a ceasefire, but the cycle of violence was gaining momentum. Even before the two Israeli deaths, the Israeli military said it was sending troop reinforcements to the Gaza border, and the defense minister ordered the mobilization of 5,000 reserve soldiers. The UN has demanded a halt to the spiraling violence. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken spoke to the Israeli foreign minister to condemn the Hamas attacks and reiterate the important message of de-escalation. And according to an Israeli official, Israel will not negotiate a ceasefire before Hamas pays a price for its attacks, also stating that Hamas fired a bunch of rockets. And then, of course, they want a ceasefire. That's perfect for them. They don't have to pay the price for firing on Jerusalem and then 500 rockets. There will be a ceasefire when we're ready for it. So I will let you know when a ceasefire does happen, but it doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon, according to these reports. Mm -hmm. But I'll keep you guys updated. I just wanted to bring you this quick breaking news report. Please do leave your comments below this video. There you go, man. You know, so that thing is getting intense over there, man. Just like we need it, you know? And now you see the, these, these, these rockets, man. What the scriptures say? Isaiah 9 and 4, it said, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Yeah, because those ancient wars, you know, it was a lot of, you know, uh, hand to hand, you know, sword to sword, you know, a lot of clanking of the swords. And, you know, you you will get bloody, you know, you'll get bloody. You see, you'll get a lot of blood on you, man. You see, but no, this war, all right. It said, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yeah, these rockets, man. You know? Hey, these rockets. Hey, because you, <laughs> you know, you might not have gas for the Ultima, but they got gas for them missiles, man. You know? And we understand that them Israelis going to do something drastic over there. All right? That's going to drag, all right, these other nations, you know, into this, these, these, these major nations. And the two major key players is Russia and America. When Russia and America get drugged into this conflict, you can, you can look, hey, we can look up. You see? Because that's who you have a shot want. Because that's one and two. Well, either my superpowers, America and Russia is one and two. And that's who you have a shot want. You know? So when he, when those two nations get drugged into this, uh, 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 these, these conflicts, you know, we can look up, man. You see? Now this is um all right, this is um the brother occupied till I come is Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says, Therefore, hear the counsel, all right, of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, that he, all right, that he have taken against Edom and his purposes, that he have purpose against the inhabitants of, of Teman. All right, it says, Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their inhabitants desolate with them. Because, yeah, it's going to be, all right, way more than just 500 rockets hit Jerusalem, man. All right? There's going to be a lot of nuclear warheads that's going to hit that place and cleanse it, man. You see? So all these Israelis is doing, they're going to draw. And you go into the Hebrew word for draw, it means to drag. They're going to drag, all right, these other powerhouse countries into this war, Russia, America, China, India. You see, Iran, you know, they're going to draw them into this war and it's going to end up with, all right, uh, 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 the, the land of Israel, all right, becoming desolate. All the inhabitants going to be out of there, man, you know, and then it won't. Um, matter of fact, brother put, um, man, I'm going to um, put it up on the screen. I'm gonna get a couple of precepts on the screen. This is what we want, brothers. <laughs> this is what we want. This is right on time, man. You know, if you were down in the spirit, we should be up, man. You know, the house shot is close. All right. Um, let me share the Bible real quick. 
Thank God. We will segue to the gas thing. All right, so um, let's get. All right. I just want to show exactly what it's talking about. So I'm going to get in the blue letter. Now, when you get Zephaniah, the second chapter, all right, it goes into the landmass over there, man. The prophecy is dead on. I'm talking about dead on. When you go to Zephaniah, all right, because remember, they mentioned Ashkelon, all right, and it's mentioned in the scripture. All right, and it says, um, now this is Zephaniah 2 and 5. It says, Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast, and it's talking about the Mediterranean Sea, all right, which they land of the Israel, you know, Lebanon, all that on the sea coast, you know. It says, The nation of the Cherethites, the word of the Lord, how by Shemal is against you, O Canaan. The land of the Philistines. Now, the Philistines, all right, they were the original inhabitants of what they call modern day, you know, Palestine. You know, let's just prove it. All right. And we know that land of Canaan, speaking of Israel. All right. Which in the Hebrew is Pala Shata, Pala Shata in the Hebrew. All right. Uh, was this what they call modern day Palestine? I used to say it on the blue letter. I guess they don't move, but it used to say Palestine, inhabitants of Palestine, you know. But that's that area that it's speaking of, you know, because it say that, um, Phyllis, the descendants of Mizraim who immigrated from uh, Qatar. All right, to the western coast of sea coast of Canaan, you know, which Canaan, all right, is Israel. You know, we took the land of Canaan. All right, going back to Joshua, you know. So let's um let's go back to it and get some more of these uh, locations. You know, you just look at an ancient map of Israel. You know, you will see all these places. All right, it says in the in verse six, Zephaniah two and six. It says, "And the sea coast shall be dwellings." And cottages for shepherds and uh, and foals for flocks, and the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. You see that we finna be put back there, man. All right, the, and the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah, which is speaking of all the tribes, man. You know, Judah being the head tribe. All right, the remnant, the elect, man. And all we finna get that land back, man. And that Mediterranean is so beautiful, man. If y'all brothers just look at those um those pro walks, you know, over there from France to Italy, uh Morocco, you know, all that Mediterranean sea coast all the way to Israel is beautiful, man. You know, and we're gonna deck it out with gold and precious stones, man. These heathens gonna build it up, you know. Houses right there on the man's palaces, you know what I'm saying? Houses, palaces, you know, right there on that water, man, you know. And we'll never have to worry about hurricanes because that's all a curse. The reason why you got hurricanes and tornadoes because the earth is under the curse, man. We won't have to worry about those things, man. You know, it says they shall feed their, their upon in the, in the houses of Ashland shall they lie down in the evening. So we're going to be in comfort, man. You see, in comfort for the Lord, you have about that power shall visit them and turn away their captivity. You see that? Now, when you read up, let's jump to verse 4. It says, for Gaza shall be forsaken. And you keep hearing about what that Gaza script. And Ashkelon, a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted out. So he's going to get those heathens out of there, man. Because these are all talking about lands in their region, man. All right? Gaza going to be forsaken. they Iron Dome ain't gonna work. You through. All right. The missiles gonna uh 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 hit them hit them Amalekites on top of the head, man. All right. And Kushites is over there, whoever over there, man. You know, it says a uh Ashkelon, all right, 
It says a marine time city of the Philistines, southwest of Jerusalem. You see, and it says Ashkelon, and it says it means the fire of infamy. I shall be weighed, man. Most sides got their place judged, man. You see, so let's get another. Let's get Ashdod, cause we know Ashdod. That's what. That's the um inheritance that was um given to Judah, the tribe of Judah, Ashdod. All right, and what the scriptures say, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, man. All right, a damn bastard over there, man. You know, but them <laughs> the missiles finna clear their ass out. All right, we finna, you know, y'all finna get a hell of a eviction, man. You know, all right, Ash died, which Ash Ash the Wad. All right, um, yep, it says a major Philistine city of the and Ash died means powerful. It says a major Philistine city, all right, of the Mediterranean Sea, west from Jerusalem, modern uh, Ash died, you know. So their land, and you say, and rockets, they what they shot, a hundred rockets to Jerusalem. And they're just a pre coach, they're just a prelude for what's to come, man. You know? So uh, uh, uh yeah, them folks out of there. Now, let's uh segue. Let's segue to the gas prices. Yeah, if y'all brothers or sisters in that region, in this region, you know, fill up if you can, you know, and be kind of tight, you know, with your money, you know, if you can, you know, some of y'all brothers and sisters got it, you know, but it's, it's it might have down somewhere, you know, but it is what it is, man, you know, man, I, I'm loving every minute of it, man, because, hey, we good, man, you know, we're going to move in wisdom, but at the end of the day, we going to be good, man. These people need to be scrambled. All right. Um, let me go back to the uh what oh they said that they said the iron dome just went offline. Through Ash died is forsaken, man. You see? <laughs> Ash died is forsaken, man. But most high ain't that ain't none of that defense shit gonna work. All right, most high gonna open your ass up and you just gonna absorb every missile that come that way, man. And Iran can't wait, you know? And Iran can't wait, man. Matter of fact, let's try to look at that. You say it's on RT. Let me see how I can pull that up, you know? Well, well we, hmm, it's happening real time, man. Oh, uh, should have put up. Let me share it real quick with y'all, brother. Okay, yeah, hey, when we see these, when we see these prophecy play real time, oh my goodness, man. You know, we not going to be disappointed, man. Jake out here marching some dumb ass, you know. You had that big, funny-looking nigga woman, Stacey Abrams, on TV talking about some new voting laws, man. Damn them voting laws, man. You know, we finna, hey, our power finna make the earth shake, man. All right, you simple niggas still talking about some voting laws, man. See if we can find that brother. See, we got here. Um, see, they got a video on it. They probably know they probably got an article on it. But I was seeing it said, but then you got this here. You got Russia. 
jet fighter escorted French Air Force aircrafts is going down, man. You know, let's see what they talking about, man. You know, I might not even get to the gas. I got to go pick my mom up from the airport, man. Damn. Yeah, I might even get to the gas. But, hey, it was talking, man. You know? Damn that gas. You know? Like, People need to sit your head down somewhere. Um, and you saw childish hell, man. All you got damn game. Okay. Let's go to French. Okay. They ain't talking about nothing. Yeah. They ain't talking about nothing. But uh, I might play a little bit of gas. Man. Just to give y'all an update what's going on with the gas, I play a little bit of it. You know, and the brother put Isaiah 34 and 16 up there for me, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up from there, you know. But let me... Cause the gas is the gas on um, video pretty pretty short, so cause I squeeze it in, you know. Just keep just keep us all updated. All right, now this is I just played two by Dabu. I'll play this one. Now we have the fallout of that massive cyber attack of a critical fuel pipeline. Gas shortages now in multiple states. The governor of North Carolina declaring a state of emergency as officials urge drivers not to panic buy. Rebecca Jarvis has the latest for us. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to you, Robin. And as you say, the Colonial Pipeline is critical to the nation's gas supply. 5,500 miles of pipeline running from Texas all the way up to New Jersey. You can see the aerial shots live in Georgia where their headquarters are right now. And what we've seen in just the last 24 hours is gas prices continuing to rise. Now two ninety nine a gallon is the national average. And by tomorrow, you could see $3 gas. This morning, the cyber attack on the nation's largest fuel pipeline now leading to gas shortages as multiple states face dwindling supply. My gas tank is basically empty and all the gas pumps has out of service. The way you know, E don't have a clue what the hell going on. You see, too, too busy worshiping, you know, everybody too busy worshiping themselves on social media. They don't have a clue what's going on, man. You know, House says it's now monitoring supply shortages in parts of the southeast and is evaluating every action the administration can take to mitigate the impact as much as possible. Overnight, North Carolina declaring a state of emergency as pumps run dry and officials urge drivers not to panic buy. We are completely out of diesel and gas, but already long lines and low fuel gauges. Hopefully get more soon because we're about out. Gas station chain racetrack with more than 500 stations across the southeast already seeing temporary shortages and warning of potential issues from Alabama to Louisiana, Tennessee, and Georgia. As Colonial Pipeline aims to restore services by the end of the week, analysts tell ABC News the longer it takes, the deeper the impact. The impact now also hitting the skies. Certain long-haul American Airlines flights will make stops to refuel. Announcing trips from Charlotte to London and Hawaii will have to divert to areas with more supply. When you go beyond five days out to about a week, a week and a half, you start running into actual physical losses. After 10 days of an outage, it would then become very challenging. And while the impact from these problems are expected to be temporary, you should very likely see prices at gas stations like this one behind me continuing to rise throughout the coming weeks because we are entering the prime driving season. And Michael, we've also reopened. The entire country is now reopening. That is causing much bigger spikes in demand than we saw last year. Last year at this time, prices were below two bucks. Michael? 
difference a year can make. Rebecca, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube oh, channel. Bill. Lots of great oh. stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe. Joe is so. Hey, so there we do. So, um, you know, as you can see, you know, <laughs> everything's a ripple effect. You know, it, it happened with Sunday, I think, you know. When uh, I first seen it Sunday, you know, when it's Tuesday, all right, and you see, you know, the trickling effect, man, you know. So, like the brother just put about the state of Virginia, you know, we'll watch that one, you know, real quick. Welcome to Raid Shadow Legends. If you're wondering just what you're getting into, Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play game for your PC or Mac running on the play. This is Dapu7, another update to what's going on here with this Colonial Pipeline ransomware cyber attack. We now have the governor of Virginia putting into motion this state of emergency. And they're doing so here, saying that we're not sure exactly how long this is going to last, but they want to ensure that the people of Virginia have access to gasoline as much as possible. So they're saying that while the EPA has issued a temporary fuel transportation waiver to increase the supply of gasoline, this move by the governor allows the state agencies to issue their own waivers as required by the state. So in terms of truck drivers and how many hours that they can drive on the road, and this and that, a lot of that's getting waived to make sure that this can keep on coming through. Now, there are reports that in certain areas, gas stations are saying that as of right now, those that are saying that they're out are out because people kind of stormed the stores, panic buying, and that's why they're out. They expect more shipments to be coming in to replenish them. So already with the talk of all this, we're seeing people going out in mass, and I've seen it with my own eyes. Many gas stations with huge lines and others running out of gas as of right now. So this is the latest, the latest state of emergency to be declared this time out of Virginia. Make sure to follow me on the live streams. One live. So there you have it, man. You know, and with this state of emergency, all it does is give, you know, like the governor's more power, you know, to make these emergency decrees, man, you know. Like the truck drivers, because I know in Mississippi, I know you brothers drive trucks, you know, you know better than me, you know, but I just be overhearing people talk and work, you know, these truck drivers talking about how, you know, they can only do 70 hours in a seven day week, you know, but with this state of emergency, they can drive more than it now, you know, if need be, because it's an emergency, man. So, you know, it's affecting every aspect, you know, of society, man, you know, this is on um, the brother GMS. Uh, Tazakaya, Yahweh, all right, with um, Isaiah 24 and 10 said, The city of confusion is broken down, every house is shut up, that no man may come in. And the most high is breaking this place down, man. Now, we know the elites are behind these things, you know, with the, you know, we know it's not no damn cyber attack. You know, the elites, you know, they're always doing trial runs and see how people react, you know. So when they really, you know, carry these things out, man, you see. But at the end of the day, how about Shima outside is putting it in their mind, you know, to do so. Yeah. And yeah, brother, you good, bro. You know, hey, you you brought, you know, some information to the table, man. You know, that's what we're here for. We, you know, this is our live screen, you know, and just on my channel, <laughs> you know, like it's both fire, you know, to keep it in my house. But now nah, for real, man, it's, you know, it's all our live screen, brothers. You know, the information you bring out, bring it out, bro. And put your link to your um to your um uh, your page on the um, comment board. And then I tried to leave the link to the video that we was watching early, but yeah, it's shadow banning. You know my comments on my own channel, man. You know, nigga, nigga, crazy, man. Esau paid his hell, man. You know, but um, I get this, and we end it out. Like I said, I gotta run. Uh. This is from the brother Yashamai tribe of Judah, Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out the book of the Lord, which is the Bible. All right, the book of Yahweh Shema Shai, and read, 
No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate for my mouth. He have commanded and his spirit have gathered them, you know? So yeah, how about Shima Shah is showing, all right, that the Bible will be undefeated. These prophecies will be undefeated, you know? Hey, you brothers, you know, you just hold on, man. You sisters stay humble. We finna get the best of the best, man. The best of the best, man. All right, this place is done. You know, and we're just, we got front row seats, you know, to the destruction, all right, of our enemy's empire, man. You know, this guy's out of here. You see, that's why I say, you brothers, you sisters, man, stay humble down, stay strong, keep the faith, you know, be ready to die. All right, be ready to die about it, man. You know, that's what we at with it, man. Be ready to die about it. So what? You know, we finna gain everything and lose nothing. All right? We finna gain everything and lose nothing, man, because we ain't got nothing, man. You see? But um, I said, Lord Will, you know, you brothers, you know, you few sisters edified to the next time I say shalom. One, you know, call me out shalom, Baba, 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 Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Kahalala Yahweh, Bashimah